If you've heard about the alt mill CNC router from CNC Labs, the new one that is now available, then this video is for you because they were very kind to give me the footage of that machine so you can see how badass this thing is. IDCwoodcraft.com I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, the company that provides you with your CNC router bits. If you have a long mill CNC router, which is one I've been using for a couple of years now, or are in the market for a CNC router, not sure what to get, then you might like this video as to what you can actually do with a CNC router, and particularly with the alt mill, considering the price point which blows me away. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But I want to talk to you about the alt mill real quick, and then we're going to get into this footage of this badass machine. You're going to be blown away at how fast this thing runs. So CNC Labs is the company that makes the long mill CNC router, and they make some other CNC products, and they're coming out with a CO2 laser, the only company in North America that's actually building a CO2 laser for the home-based market. But this is about the alt mill. So the alt mill is a four inch, uh, sorry, four by four machine, 48 inches by 48 inches. That's the size of the work bed of my Phantom here, which is a big machine. That's, that's a $11,000 machine. The alt mill, <laughs> you're gonna be blown away by this. $3,000 for a ball screw driven machine, closed loop system, Another $500, you'll get a spindle on it, and it has like a killer feed rate and cut rate, which you're going to see right now. So if you want to check this thing out, just remember I got a link down below to the web page that they have for, CNC Labs has for the alt mill. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into this video mix that, that I put together that they were so kind to give to me so I could show you of what this alt mill does. So I'm going to... Just say one more thing. You know, most of these like benchtop CNC routers, we have to build our own table for them. The alt mill at that price point of $3,000 comes with its own table already. 48 inches by 48 inches. When it comes to CNC routers, size matters. And for you, if you're a little on a tight budget, you will probably be very interested in this machine, particularly with a closed loop system. It comes with a super long board, and we'll talk more about it as you watch this video. I'll show you all the stuff that they've added to this machine to make it so badass. So let's go. So here they are surfacing the waste board with the machine, and this looks like it's running at about 300 inches per minute. And okay, so now we're doing, this is three quarter inch plywood, cabinet grade plywood, one pass, 8,000 millimeters per minute. Now that is 315 inches per minute with a compression bit. So they're going all the way through the material in one pass. Look at, look how fast this thing is. And you can tell this is not sped up, right? You can tell by the way that the wood chips are coming off the machine there as it's making its cut. That was a fast cutout of that part. So I'm not sure what they're making here, but this is wicked, wicked fast. So if you have a long mill, then the max feed rate is 157 inches per minute. And they are running this thing at 315 inches per minute. Okay, so here's something else. Again, this is three quarter inch plywood. And I didn't see what that was. That, oh, that was a down cutter. And that thing is running currently at uh, about 180 inches per minute. And that's my best guess. Now look at the gantry on that machine. That's one long piece of aluminum that looks extremely rigid. And also they're using two linear bearings for to guide it both on the Z-axis and the um, x-axis which goes across and on the y-axis now everything's ball screw driven which is a nice little step look at the left side of the screen right now at that motor you see the extra wires on that that is a closed loop system and what that means is it knows if it's lost position and if that happens it will stop now look how fast it's cutting through this plywood of whatever they're making this is all one pass you see a little jump that the router makes every once in a while that's cutting a tab out and this is still the true speed of it. Okay, so they did it on an eight foot piece. Now it cuts four foot by four foot. So half a sheet. And now it looks like they got walnut, their roughing pass are using a quarter inch roughing uh, end mill. 
uh, 24,000 RPMs, uh, 200 inches per minute. And this looks like the beast, <laughs> or the bad, yeah, the beast from IDC Woodcraft. And that thing is rocking and rolling through that. Now it is, the beast is a, by the way, you want to get this router bit, you see how fast you can run it? That's designed to hog out material. It doesn't leave the cleanest finished. That's something you get at IDC Woodcraft. I will link that down below, but look how fast they're running it at. And this is, uh, I can tell they're using the step over uh, that, that I prescribe for that 80% 80, 80 step over. And they're running at twice the speed I recommend, probably three times. And they're doing a ramp in here to do that final cut. And wham, bam, bam, bam. Okay, here's a bull bit. And this looks like it's running at about 80 inches per minute. No, nope, didn't get enough of the bull bit. And now we're doing a uh, down cut or cut out. And they're doing it at 150 inches per minute. And it looks like they're doing this in two passes. There's a, a ramp down right there. Now when you're ramping down, you want to uh, keep the uh, feed rate at the feed instead of a plunge feed. But So two passes, and it has cut that bowl out. And they've cut multiple bowls. That's walnut though. Okay, that's the rapid going all the way across. That looks like 500 inches per minute. And so now they're using half inch plywood. This is an eighth inch down cutting bit or an eighth inch compression. I didn't read that fast enough. And this looks like it's running at about 250 inches per minute. Very quick. Now this is an aluminum composite at 157 inches per minute. RPMs 24,000, depth of cut eighth of an inch. So it's eighth inch ACM. And what ACM is, it's a uh, aluminum plates and, and, and they're like uh, on the outside of a plastic sheet. So it's uh, plastic on the inside, aluminum on the outside. And this is, this is an O flute bit or a single flute bit. And that is cutting exceptionally well for that type of bit at that feed rate. I'm really impressed with what this machine is doing. Cutting ACM is much cleaner than it is sold, uh, cutting wood because you don't get nearly as much sawdust. Now, this is a, a slab, three inch thick slab. There's surfacing at speed at 275 inches per minute with a one inch surfacing bit. And I couldn't tell their step over, but that is wicked fast for a machine. So you can see the linear rails there. It's a spindle, so that spindle is a $500 upgrade to the $3,000 machine. Now this is where it really blew me away. This big ass slab is a 3D car, very complex, and you'll see in a minute. But what is really blowing me away is how fast it's doing that intense detail. I did a project like this once that was only about 7 inches tall and about 3 feet wide, took 9 hours to do. And what's different here? over what I've got my Phantom is what I'm seeing is the acceleration rates. See how fast it's moving up and down? There's a big thing when it comes to CNC routers is acceleration. That what, that's what will take up the time when you're doing 3D carbs. And this one has got a phenomenal acceleration rate which really cuts down on your run time. Now you can see how fast it's running. This is not sped up. You can tell by how fast they're moving when they're vacuuming. Good Lord, that is quick. They're using a uh, very tight taper, that's a six degree taper uh, ball nose end mill and a very small tip on it. Now I don't know how long this has taken so far, but I'm going to guess they've probably got about three hours into this job at this point. And you can see it's starting to come out, uh, pull out that detail. That piece of wood there is probably six, seven hundred dollars. Uh, you can see the gantry there. It's a big stocky piece of aluminum. And if you get a chance, look at the gantry framing. A very thick bracket that's holding the gantry to the rest of the machine. Very pretty piece of uh, project there. Let's see what this looks like. Huge. Nice, nice job. Sitting on top of the machine. So that gives you an idea of the machine. Now this is what really blows me away is the aluminum. So this is running at 20,000 RPM at 2100 inches per minute, which is about 80 inches per minute, so 2100 millimeters per minute. 
for the surfacing bit. And now they're using a quarter inch up cutter. You cannot, either an up cutter or an O flute, um, you cannot cut aluminum with a down cutter. Um, obviously sped up. This is 24,000 RPM, 1500 millimeters per minute. Uh, 1500 millimeters per minute is about 60 inches to 70 inches per minute. Look at that rip around the side of that. This blows me away for aluminum. 4,700 millimeters per minute. That's 180 inches per minute. Um, very surprised that this thing can handle aluminum. That's not traditional in CNC routers. Of course, this sped up here. They're using a ball nose on this, but the, the actual finish on this whole thing is actually coming out quite well, which is very surprising for a a CNC router. Even as a CNC expert myself, I didn't think that CNC routers could really handle aluminum. Now they're doing a chamfer end mill. Again, 24,000 RPM, and it looks like it's probably traveling at about 60 inches per minute, maybe 50, putting a nice little edge on whatever they made here. Now that's still in the vise. You can tell that has not been cleaned up. That's the condition right after the cut without cleaning up and it's a vise handle. That's very, very cool. So I'm going to link this down below in the description of this video. So I am very impressed with the alt mill. I already ordered mine. Um, I know they're on back order, but you might want to check that out. So the link down below in the description and check it out if you're in the market. If you want to upgrade your CNC router, $3,500 with the spindle, one of these things, which is what you want over a trim router. This is the way to go. IDCWoodcraft.com